On this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Laws were in place in the first place is that when we had absolute power, speaking about men, we abused it, right? We often at times left women that did not have the power to be able to earn. They didn't have the power to be able to take care of themselves. They didn't have the power to be able to do some of the same things that they are, they, they're doing today. And so they needed a safety net for a dude that often at times utilized his power in the wrong way. It was a lot of dudes that didn't hold down the fort. And so as a result, you had to create because the laws are they're reactive. The laws aren't put into place as a result of something that you're doing right already. There is no need for a law then. The laws are reactive. And so you see, you've seen a lot of simps and a lot of busters that did not take care of their family. They left the home. They did what they wanted to do. They got these chicks pregnant and then they went off and did what they wanted to do. And then they was looking at the chick like, well, why you ain't still respecting me? Just talk. Hold on one second. We're just talking about realistic. Are you a virgin? Are your friends a virgin? We're just talking about realistic times. I get that island. I get that island. That's all I'm saying. No, I get that. I'm talking about Trill's excitement about the niche audience having the same opinion. Okay, I was being. I mean, obviously, most of them are going to have the same opinion about things. This is not a representative sample. That's all I'm saying. He was like, "Yes, I did it. I was right." Welcome to Thursday, Chris. I mean, everybody knew he was right, but one person. But what? But my my point still stands. I still believe that point. I don't care who it's you okay are. For you to White believe demographic, that. Spanish so demographic, so black demographic. It's okay for you to believe that. Benefits point. of being giving up before marriage. That's so a fact. Chill. Just a quick question. <laughs> sure. So do you now think? This question, I'm gonna move on. Do you think? Because I know you said that most men's priority. Let's clarify the before we get into semantics war. Most mm. men's priority is not marriage. So. Do you think that if women stopped having sex, that men will start proposing? Like yes. currently, like women in their relationships, in their situationships, yes. in whatever they're in with men, they just tell them, look, um, we are not having sex anymore until you get down on one ring and then we set a date and then the date comes and then we jump the broom. That, yes. is, a th- that is a thousand percent right. And the reason it's a thousand percent right is because a lot of men act like they actually like women to get the sex. Let's well, just, just keep it real here. So I mean, men will do pretty. No, my, my point being, men will do pretty much anything to get the sex. That's a fact. So yes, no, to answer your question, not right. We'll say anything. We'll do anything. We'll do whatever it takes. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Very now, interesting. now, now. Ideally, should that be the case? No. But again, we don't live in an ideal world, so we got to go with what we see around us. And that's just reality. Welcome to Thursday, Trill. I love it. I love it, man. (laughs) Shout out to y'all. Quite different than Tuesday. Definitely. (laughs) (laughs) On this episode of LaPeef, let's talk. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. Hey, so still stay on this topic real quick. I wanted to uh, bring up a few more talking points. And one of the things is that to death do us part, right? To death do us part. And they often talk about how love is a feeling and talking about commitment. It was a conversation that I overheard or heard somewhere about in other countries that they get no options, that they don't even look like it's a it's an exit. So because here we often see a lot of women that think it's okay to mistreat men, their husbands, because they know that they have an out. So let's speak about that real quick. Speak about it. Start with you, Amir. So the question is. Uh, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I didn't. Can you say the question a little bit more clear? I didn't really ask a question, but I just kind of made a statement about what I was overhearing. But I would try to format it in a question form for you. So okay. basically, uh, we often see that women mistreat men because they know that it's out here. Versus in other places, um, once you married, you married. Hmm. There is no out. Right. So let's talk about it. Uh, Yes. And another thing is that the court backs them up, which is I speak constantly about this, of how the court backs it up, because I don't think that women would have the power that they have now to abuse men in the in the fashion that they do. Had it not been for the court system backing them up, I believe that the court system is what gives women the uh, a part of my French here, the balls to say these to treat 
the men the way they do because they know that they have a security net once they do so. So on our case, like I'm Middle Eastern, so I'll just give the example from the Middle East. I just came back from the Middle East a few days ago. And when you see people there, there's no, there's not that sentiment where it's like, I'm going to treat you bad. And then I'm just going to run off into the sunset and live my life uh, happily. It doesn't work that way. Also because the families hold us accountable. So it's not even just a thing of like, how can I say, we just leave after we abuse the man and we take him for all he's got. You have to deal with the family of that man because in our culture, we understand that we're not just marrying a man, we're marrying the son of someone, which is, it makes you look at your husband differently when you know that you're marrying the son of someone instead of just seeing him as one man. I hope that helped. Yeah, that helped, that helped. Anybody else wanna chime in on that? I think, yeah, I can. Um, oh, sorry, go ahead, Q. Do your thing. And Q. to tie into that, different cultures, like if you disrespect a man, <laughs> you might get your hand chopped off or, or something else. So um, we're talking about culture aspect. I'm not talking about America culture. I'm talking about West Indian culture or even Caribbean culture. Like that, that disrespect that doesn't really happen. Well, well, growing up, that doesn't happen. You can't talk to a man nor type of way and get away with it. What is divorce? We don't look at divorce. In that type of nature so the respect things just we are embodied with that because we know if we're disrespectful to our man we might get some backlash you might get hit i mean up here it's a little different that's the domestic violence of course it is but you just have to respect your your spouse in all shapes and forms no matter what or something might happen but you know it's different up here okay the the problem with the court system there is not a problem with the court system as it applies to yesteryear. <clears throat> the problem with the court system is as it applies now that women, so to speak, have been liberated, right? They advocated for equal rights. They advocated for being looked at in the same way as men. We want equal pay for equal rights. Okay, well, now you got archaic court court laws that don't apply to you anymore. That's what's the, what's the problem is with, with court with the court laws today. <clears throat> but the the reason why, if we go back to the foundation of how we got here, the reason why those laws were in place in the first place is that when we had absolute power, speaking about men, we abused it, right? We often at times left women that did not have the power to be able to earn. They didn't have the power to be able to take care of themselves. They didn't have the power to be able to do some of the same things that they are, they, they're doing today. And so they needed a safety net for a dude that often at times utilized his power in the wrong way. It was a lot of dudes that didn't hold down the fort. And so as a result, you had to create because the laws are they're reactive. The laws aren't put into place as a result of something that you're doing right already. There is no need for a law then. The laws are reactive. And so you see, you've seen a lot of simps and a lot of busters that did not take care of their family. They left the home. They did what they wanted to do. They got these chicks pregnant and then they went off and did what they wanted to do. And then they was looking at the chick like, well, why you ain't still respecting me? 